Tight end on the right side of the offensive line, Tyler Higby, but the first play is a run, and on the ground, it goes to DeAndre Furby, Jameel Cook on the tackle. SEC opponent, that's the way to start your season off. That was Joe Brown stopping that two-point conversion as Dowdy goes deep and has his man, Taewon Taylor. And Taylor with a big gain, still on his feet down the sideline. He did step out at the 35-yard line. Brett for Western Kentucky. Brandon Dowdy loves to go at Taewon Taylor. Good speed. He's really his top target. That time, a deep crossing route, and you saw Dowdy put it on the... Furby goes in motion. Dowdy hit as he throws. Has it to Norris. Norris makes a move and gets close to the first down. A little bit shy, just inside the 25-yard line. Eight of nine, you got to go for it here, well, right? Yeah, a nice catch by Norris underneath. He breaks that initial tackle, and he gets it to where he almost picks up the first down. Dowdy took a big hit on that play by a blitzing linebacker, was able to still get the pass off. Good job by him. Good Higby, the tight end, is lined up in the slot to the top of the screen, and it goes to Furby. And DeAndre Furby is going to get in for the touchdown. <laughs> Furby is the vision and the cutback. This is a zone to the right side. Swings it back. I like to call that going back door with it. And that's a big important stat uh, as the season progresses. Play action by Doughty with some time down the sideline. Incomplete, just over the ass stretched arms that time of Grant. Five-yard penalty, third down and long for Western Kentucky. Dowdy, pump fakes, gets away from one man, gets rid of it, and it's knocked down and incomplete. Knocked down by T. Grace Scales. You got a very young secondary for Indiana today. And Higby is a nice target at six foot six. He lines up, just goes right down the middle of the run game. They like to do that a lot. Dowdy over the middle has Higby, the tight end, for the first down across the 25-yard line. That'll move the sticks. Pass for Dowdy to move the chains. First and 10 carry goes to Furby. Couple yards off to the left side. How about the offensive line? For Furby makes one man miss, but not the second. Marcus Oliver got him the second time around, got some help, and it's going to pass us. Davis in the backfield now, four wide receivers for Dowdy on third down to the sideline, and it's caught it right at the marker, Jared Dangerfield, and the initial spot looks a bit shy. The ball is what you want to do as a receiver, but he comes back inside that first down marker, but then he turns and he's strong enough to fight for that first down. It's going to be short. He's a huge target for this, this team. Play action fake. Dowdy. And it's Dangerfield again. Another first down catch at the 31 of Indiana. Arm strong enough to get it out there. And it's a, it's a beautiful pass by him. Double tight end set here for Western Kentucky, and Dowdy goes for the end zone and overthrows Antoine Grant, who had a step on this Kentucky's all-time leader in passing yards. And there it is right there to Higby. Just before the 10-yard line, it's a first down catch. Chase Dutra on the tackle for time. Passing leader in yards at Western Kentucky with 8,468. On this catch to Higby, passing the great Jeff Cesarone. Target so far in this young season, big six foot six tight end, stretched out and made that catch for him. First and ten from the 11, back to Higby. Here he is, makes one man miss. That's what we're talking about as he gets pushed out inside the five. T. Gray scales. It's second down. They can get a first at the one, or Furby can go in for the touchdown like he does for the second time this afternoon. <laughs> I love it right there, a little old power eye there off to the left side, and you have a 240-pound back, lower that shoulder. Big offensive line firing off. Get by the true freshman for a nice pickup. 16 yards on the pickup, Dowdy again, and once again, Taylor and slipping down into Indiana territory at the 37-yard line, and why not just... It is first down and goal now for Western Kentucky. Dowdy, they've had two rushing touchdowns. And almost a passing one here, incomplete for Higby. And they did it on that last play. See if they go to Furby here, second and goal from the 10. They do. DeAndre Furby with a hole off the left side. It spins inside the five-yard line. Setting up third and goal. Five yards passing. 
So he's actually doing better on average right now of that, Rini, as this pass goes out to Nicholas Norris, and he's on the run. Look out, Nicholas Norris. And they finally catch back up to him inside the 20-yard line. And Jameel Cook had to come back to make the tackle for Indiana. 20 freshmen and sophomores for this Indiana team on the defensive side. Here is Taylor and run out after just about three yards. Okay, for an arm. Furby off the left side. And DeAndre Furby is going to run for the first down. And he's been... A welcome sight for this group that is without Give credit to safety Jonathan Crawford. He's made some good plays. Incomplete pass. So you saw the numbers and what Dowdy. We'll see what they do here on third and four. Davis is in the backfield. Went in motion. Dowdy. And he'll run for the first down into the sideline out of bounds of the 42. That's a play by Dowdy. Picks up 11. Uh, as he's moved through his coaching career and a good player in his own right. Dowdy, and it's Dangerfield on the catch, and Jared Dangerfield, the senior, has a first-down reception on it. Third down, Dowdy to Higby, and he's going to be stopped just shy on the tackle made by Chase Dutra. Just a deep out by Dangerfield, 21, and again, Dowdy stands comfortable in the pocket, reads the field, and makes that long throw on the money to move for them, and of course, a field goal makes it a one possession game. They are a yard shy of the first down. Crawford was the one that picked off both passes. Their last drive in and in a missed field goal, a blocked field goal. A nice one handed catch by Furby from out of the backfield. And passing leader in Western Kentucky history as a third and four from his own 30. Dowdy finds his target, the tight end, Higby. And he's been a big target for him this season. And a flag is down back in the 20-yard line. Down to Higby. Anyway, you know, they try to make Dowdy uncomfortable off his spot. He get, takes the hit, but he still completes the pass to Higby, who hooked up in the middle and just slid to the side. And clearly a late hit. Good call. There was two flags on the play. Both officials saw it. The referee... And the umpire as well, and the yardage on that play for Western Kentucky. Taewon Taylor was set up in the backfield on this play in first down at 10, and Dowdy flips it over to Higby again on the sideline, takes a couple of big hits, and hangs on for what is close to a first down. But now in the handoff here for Western Kentucky. Davis is back in. Second down. Dowdy hit as he throws, and it is caught for the first by Taylor. Sliding down to make the catch. And Greg Gooch had the QB pressure that time in on Dowdy, but he still found his man for 11. And just watch him stay in the pocket. He doesn't get, doesn't get dancy feet. He stays in there. He knows he's going to get hit, and he throws a strike, and that's what you want out of your quarterback. Down 10 here in the fourth. Dowdy, Norris has it. And about three yards shy of the first.